Ties the game two to two, three to three here in the top of the sixth inning. Towering drive far over the right field wall. That ties things up here. That's Flansburg's third home run of the season. No question about that. The moment that left the bat, that was out of here. No wind at all blowing now. It was blowing out to right earlier, and the right wind has died down as it is wont to do here with the, once the sun goes down. But that ball, it didn't need any help at all. That was far over the right field barrier. 73 degrees right now, and the wind is dead. Second home run of the night that, uh, that uh, Hansen has allowed. Uh, Dorenzo, the catcher, hit a home run leading off the third inning. Swung on two hopper to shortstop. Malik Jones throws to first. Alex Wise is retired. First out here in the sixth inning. Center fielder, one. So Andrew Hansen is just moving right along, and then he gives up the single and a home run. And that wasn't, neither home run has been a cheapie tonight, that's for sure. Again, that's 15 home runs now that the Sooners have hit this year. So they're, you know, they got a little pop in those bats. Steele Walker, the center fielder, is now up. First pitch bore in there for a strike, 0-1. One and, oh and one. Walker tonight is flied out to center and flied out to left. Here's the delivery. He's hits a line shot fouled on the right field line. Rolls past the bullpen and against the 327 sign. What an Hansen is trying to work his way out of it and get out of this inning and uh, hopefully keeping it tied and give himself a chance to maybe still get a W tonight. Here's the next delivery. Swung on and chopped up the middle. Base hit into center field. Metzgar made a dive for it but couldn't come up with it. Even if he would have knocked it down, there was no way he was going to be able to retire Walker at first base. So if you're Bob Macaluso, what do you do now with Andrew Hansen giving up the two-run home run and uh, another base hit? Well, that's three hits in the last four batters he's allowed. And uh, there's some, a little bit of movement down in the bullpen area. There's a pinch hitter now for Oklahoma. Number 44. Austin O'Brien. And he was the starting first baseman last night. He comes in for. He had 0 for 3 with a walk on last night's game. He's pinch hitting for and Andritzos. Hansen throws over first. No play there. <coughs> so he'll probably remain in the game and play first base. Uh, he's pinch hitting for the first baseman, Andritzos. Hansen trying to work his way out of this. There's a breaking ball. Looked like a pretty good pitch, but stayed inside. One ball, no strikes. Sooners have erupted for two runs here to tie it up. We're at 3-3 now in the top of the sixth inning. Oklahoma's now out hitting Bakersfield 6-5. Hansen into a stretch. Comes to the plate. Outside. Just missed. Very close on both those first two pitches. 2-0 oh the count. O'Brien looks down to the third base coach's box. No sign given by the coach, so uh, it's a straight 2-0 count. Probably going to be uh, lying in the weeds for something that he can hit. Here's the delivery, 2-0, outside, not close, 3-0. and Hanson might be on the short leash here. Sooners have touched him for two runs here in the inning. Three of the four batters he's faced this inning have reached. 3-0 count on the pinch hitter, O'Brien. Hansen comes to the plate, 3-0. Down the middle for a strike. That one, fastball right down Broadway. Three balls and a strike. Walker at first, about three-step lead. Hansen looking into the plate. Hansen maybe a little further off now, but here's the 3-1 delivery. There's a breaking ball, good pitch for strike two called. Three and two now. First base Walker, wondering, I would, would not be a bit surprised if he runs on the three two pitch here. In fact, I would expect it. Tie game in the sixth, look for him to be running on the pitch. Hansen, a new stretch, now steps off the rubber. O'Brien out of the batter's box. Three three here in the sixth inning. 
Sooners have scored twice on the two-run home run by Jack Flansburg. Hansen has a sign, nods in agreement. 3-2 pitch, runner does go, swung on and fouled straight back. Walker was running on the pitch. Pinch hitter O'Brien fouled the ball straight after the screen. So we'll have to do it all over again here as Walker jogs back to first. Roadrunners looking for the double play. Hansen looks in, got the sign, nods his head in agreement. He looks over at first. Walker has a decent lead over there, throws over, dives back in easily. Hansen looking in for a new sign. Shakes one off. Now he likes it. Here's a 3-2 pitch. Runner goes again, swung on and fouled away down the right field line. So Walker over at first is getting his wind sprint in here tonight in this inning. O'Brien looking down the line at head coach. Pete Hughes, who gives a few signs. Walker looks over and gets the signs as well. Hansen looking in, nods his head. He has this pitch he wants to throw. He looks, glances over at first. Three, two, one out, sixth inning. The three, two pitch, runner goes again, swung on, line drive, left field. Oh, Ball bounces pass past the left fielder. Left fielder trying to make a diving pitch. Coming in to score easily is Walker, racing around toward third. Here comes a throw from Jones, not in time, hits the runner. Bounces into the, near the dugout area, but O'Brien gets a pinch hit triple to give the Sooners wow. a four to three lead. Sinking line drive to left field. The runner's left fielder, Christian Deaton, tried to make a diving catch and uh, the ball bounced by him all the way to the wall. By the time the center fielder, Seelman could run the ball down, uh, Walker easily scored from first base and O'Brien winds up at third. Now the Roadrunners bring the infield all the way in, all the way around, if it's one out here, trying to cut the run off the plate. Oklahoma has scored three times here in the sixth to take a four to three lead. Advantage there, of course, of a runner running, and now Bob Macaluso is out, and he's taking Hanson out of the game at this point. <laughs> Leaves with a nice round of ovation. He pitched a very strong five innings, and then it came kind of unglued here in the sixth for him. The uh, Nobody's coming in out of the bullpen, it looks like. So yes, yeah, so one of the position players will be coming in to throw. Let's see if it's going to be Jones, possibly who's the shortstop. Could be Gusbeth, the right fielder. It's going to be Max Carter who's going to come in to pitch, the first baseman. So it appears that the Roadrunners then will go with Cody White is now going to be the new first baseman. He's warming up with Metzger. Max Carter, who has been the first base starter last night and tonight, is now into pitch. So Cody White now will go into the number nine spot in the batting order at first base. Seelman, who was batting ninth, is, has, is out of the game. And Dustin Fraley, the, who was the designated hitter, is now in center field. So the Roadrunners now will not have a DH the remainder of this game. Max Carter, of course, is the clean up batter, is now a pitcher. For CSUB, now on the mound, number eight, Max Carter. In center field, number 30, Dustin Fraley. So this Henry inning has been an adventure for CSUB. Giving up Flansburg, giving the two-run home run, and then a triple by the pincher O'Brien that scored Walker, who had singled, knocked Andrew Hansen out of the game. One out here. You're watching live here on Bakersfield.com. I'm Lewis Amistoy, joined by Jeff Evans. 
Jeff. Uh, you can follow Jeff on Twitter at Bake Sports. We're also posting some of these highlights on at Bakersfield Cali, our Twitter account for the Bakersfield Californian. Um, you can also follow uh, some of the highlights. And I have to apologize, I missed both home runs on my video efforts today. But we'll post the, reg the rest of the game later on YouTube for those. A couple home runs for OU has made the difference here. 4-3 in the sixth inning. Jeff, what does CHB have to do now? Well, they're going to try to cut this run off. That's why the infield is playing in all the way around. The um, Hunter Haley, the left fielder for Oklahoma, is now batting. He has a um, very aggressive hitter. A lot of power here. So Haley is 0 for 2. Three runs have scored in the inning to give uh, OU a 4 to 3 lead. Here's the first delivery. Just swung on a lift to the left field. Man. And that will be caught, and the runner will tag and score the run from third. And it's now a 5-3 to three lead, a sacrifice fly. Haley's ball was hit down the left field line. It was actually caught in foul territory by Christian Deaton. But, uh, you know, you got a chance to get it out there. You can't very well let the ball drop unless it would be like right. the ninth inning. You know, it's still the sixth. But that's, a, that's the fourth run of the this sixth inning here, and it gives the Sooners a 5-3 to three lead. Good piece of hitting there by Haley. And uh, Dorenzo, the catcher, is who homered earlier, is now batting. Took the first pitch from Carter outside for his ball, 1-0. Base is empty now, two outs here in the six. Four runs in, Oklahoma up 5-3. to three. Dorenzo fouls one straight back, evening the count at 1-1. One one. So the Roadrunners now, after uh, taking a three to two, a three to one lead in the bottom of the bottom of the fifth inning, will now have to come from behind if they have any, want to have any chance of winning this one. Carter in his windup, the one and one pitch, swung on and hit it sharply in the left field. One hop again. Deaton tried to make a scooping catch there and was able to, able to knock it down. This time the ball stayed in front of him, so Dorenzo had to remain at first base with the single. That is the fifth hit of the inning for Oklahoma. And now we go back to the top of the order and Hunter Sutherland. Yeah, and no, actually, it's going to be a pinch hitter for Sutherland. Brewster. Brewster. Blake Brewster, freshman outfielder out of Moore, Oklahoma, is pinch hitting now for the designated hitter, Hunter Sutherland. Sutherland had come into the game 0 for 3, fly it out twice to uh, center, and then also hit into an easy ground ball to Malik Jones. Well, Brewster was actually started the game. Uh, I take that back. He came in and pinch hit in the ninth inning, grounded out on the final batter of the game that the, for the Sooners. So that first pitch is fouled straight back over us. 0-1 to count. Carter trying to uh, get out of this inning now. Sooners have four runs in and a runner on first with two out. Carter into a stretch, comes to the plate. High with a fastball, 85 miles an hour. That evens the count at one ball and one strike. Five to three, Oklahoma, top of the sixth. Here's Carter into a stretch. And the one-one delivery. Swung on and fouled straight back. One ball, two strikes now on pinch batter Blake Brewster. Metzger at second base is on the edge of the outfield grass. Malik Jones about two steps onto the infield dirt from the outfield. Groach on a third, well behind the bag. First baseman Cody White holding the base runner, Dorenzo on first. Here comes the pitch, outside, not close. Two balls, two strikes now. Two outs here in the top of the sixth inning. Oklahoma gone off the deck and scored four times here to take the five to three lead. Carter looking in for the sign, working deliberately. Now he's into his motion. Stretch comes to the plate. Outside, here goes the runner from second. He's safe at second, steals second base easily. Throw from Jake Ortega bounced into the second base, just to the left of the bag. Jones fielded it, but uh, Dorenzo, the catcher, slid into second base easily. That's the third stolen base in this two games for Oklahoma, and the runners have yet to throw anybody out. Makes you think if Oklahoma's gonna continue to uh, put the pressure on with base running here, 
throughout this game and then in the doubleheader tomorrow. These teams are playing a four game series here this weekend at Hartfield. Three balls and two strikes now on the pinch hitter Blake Brewster. 5-3 Oklahoma. Here comes the 3-2 delivery. Swung on a miss, he struck him out. Carter gets out of the inning, but the damage has been done. Oklahoma scores four times here, sending his eight men to the plate, collecting five singles or five hits in the inning, including a triple and a two-run homer by J. 